Dragon Age, The Veil Guard was one of the most highly anticipated releases in recent gaming history. Fans were eager to dive back into the world of Thetas, ready to experience a new chapter in a beloved franchise. But when the first footage and news started to come out, things took a sharp turn. The excitement quickly faded, and for many of us, it felt like the Dragon Age we knew was gone. The disappointment wasn't just a few minor issues here and there, it was something much deeper. Fans took one look at the gameplay and character creation and realized something was off. As one person put it, it was highly anticipated until they provided us with more news and the first looks of the gameplay and character creation, after which a lot of people just walked away from it. Let's be real, the game might still be okay. It might even be fun for some people. But one thing is clear, this isn't Dragon Age. What made the original trilogy so special was its soul, its depth, and its ability to pull you into a world full of rich stories, complex characters, and meaningful choices. The Veil Guard, it feels like it's trying to capitalize on nostalgia without actually respecting what made the series great in the first place. People have pointed out that the Veil Guard is retaining tiny, minuscule bits from the original trilogy, small pieces like character names, locations, or lore references, but is that really enough? One fan nailed it when they said, retaining minuscule bits and pieces from the original game doesn't make it a sequel. And they're right, Dragon Age fans aren't looking for just a familiar name or a nod to the past. We want a game that feels like Dragon Age. But here's the problem, what we got instead feels like another cookie cutter RPG wearing a Dragon Age skin. It's like the developers thought, as long as we slap the Dragon Age logo on it, people will buy it. And honestly, they probably will. But how long will that last? Look, it's not the first time this has happened in the gaming industry. We've seen franchises fall apart when they lose what made them special. The Veil Guard feels like it's on the same path. One fan mentioned, it makes it just yet another game that will use its previous fan base to generate some money and with the current entry sink it to oblivion. And isn't that the ultimate fear for a series like Dragon Age? That it will lose itself so completely that fans stop caring. For many of us, Dragon Age is and will remain a trilogy. People are so fed up with the Veil Guard's direction that they're outright rejecting it as part of the series. For me, Dragon Age is remaining a trilogy since I don't want to spoil the perception of the game by adding this game to the set, said one fan. And I get that. Why tarnish the memory of something great with something that feels half-baked? This is bigger than just gameplay mechanics or design choices. This is about a franchise's legacy. The Veil Guard risks turning Dragon Age into a footnote in gaming history, another series that couldn't keep up with its own success. Fans aren't asking for perfection, they're asking for a game that respects its roots and evolves naturally, not one that feels like a cheap imitation. So where does that leave us? Is Dragon Age doomed because of the Veil Guard? Not necessarily, but it's definitely at a crossroads. If this game flops or continues down this disappointing path, we might be watching the end of one of the greatest RPG franchises of all time. But it doesn't have to be that way. The developers have a chance to listen to the community and make real changes before it's too late. There's still hope if they're willing to do the work and bring Dragon Age back to what it was always meant to be. A rich, story-driven experience with meaningful choices, unforgettable characters, and a world that feels alive. At the end of the day, this isn't just about one game. This is about whether Dragon Age still has a future. And for many of us, the Veil Guard isn't the future we wanted. So what do you think? Is there still hope for Dragon Age or has it already lost its way? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming discussions like this one. Thanks for watching.